Uh, you can find us at, or find me in the, the business, premierperformancetrainer.com. Social media is a little tricky. I think when I started my um, handles, everything was kind of taken. So it's Premier Performance TN on Instagram, and then Premier Performance Training LLC on Facebook, and then Twitter's Premier, I think it's just PT. Are you, or, you, you active there, Twitter? I'm active on Twitter. It's more for the sports performance yeah. side of it. Uh, athlete, following athletes and just, you know, retweeting or X, you know, now it's re, I don't know what you call that now. Yeah, one thing I'll say, just a side note, is uh, there's a lot of controversy. Controversy? That's a, kind of like a strong word, but over like the whole like branding of yourself and your business, uh, there are pros and cons. Uh, some people will tell you never do that because now you're like making yourself uh, you know the business is so dependent on you and then other people will say like you have to do that because it's it's, it's you're the face and you're going to build it up and you have eric cressy and mike boyle and like countless others and um i, I the reason this is fresh on my mind because i just talked to mark fisher he, i don't know um, exactly the, the order of the show releases but he uh, obviously is Mark Fisher Fitness, right? And yeah. um, and and he's he's actually not super involved anymore. So uh, so there you go. So you can uh, do that and still build a solid business around the system. So you can kind of have the best of both worlds. And there's no right or wrong or one way to skin the cat. I chose to to do it without my name. And and again, this doesn't doesn't mean um, that either way is right or wrong. So uh, I think it's awesome. Yeah, I I agree. I just like I said, I brand recognition 